spears in D&D. You, you can do 1d8 piercing if you hold it with both hands. <laughs> Hey, what's up everybody? Sky is sick and dies on vacation. Uh, anyway, it's just Ray here today, so how are you guys doing? Welcome to another DD memes video. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Before jumping into the video, I just wanna quickly, kindly ask you if you wanna smash the subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, because most of the people watching aren't, and you know, I would really appreciate it if you did. So thank you so much if you do that, and with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Yeah, that will probably come back to bite them. Most likely literally. Oh, come on, the Barnaby birthday story can't be that sad. The story. My party lied to a brass dragon today. I just have to share this. His name was Barnaby. He was like a puppy. He gave us shade from the desert sun with his wings and wanted to hear all about our adventures. When we tried to leave, he got real sad and told us to keep talking with him. Our bard, through a very bad save by the dragon, charmed him into gathering things to throw us a party when we came back four moons from now. Our world has two moons, and he interpreted it as two days. He flew off to make party preparations. Our bard was lying, and our party has no intention to return there. This is probably going to come back to haunt us, but I just can't stop imagining poor Barnaby wearing a little party hat all alone at a celebration that nobody else showed up for. <laughs> oh god, dude, that is that is really extremely sad. I, why would you... I don't know, that's just really sad. <laughs> I would rather have them be murder hobos instead of doing that, I think. <laughs> Best 5 letter combos. Go. Sword. Gloss. Ghost. <laughs> And then you have Goose. <laughs> oh god, yeah, Goose is the best one, but le let's read some from the comments as well. What if... Bombs. <laughs> oh god. I'll do you one better. Nukes. I mean... Okay, I guess, but also, like, how do you use them? <laughs> Craps. You roll 2d6 to hit instead of a d20. Any roll other than 7 hits. If you ever roll 7, all the previous damage disappears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh god. Does Krabs give you a claw sword or an STD sword? <laughs> That's a good question. Hydra. Sprouts 5 reptilian heads. Geese. Sprouts 5 goose heads, which is definitely scarier. <laughs> yeah, okay, I changed my mind. Goose is not the best one, it's geese now, because the plural fits as well. <laughs> and obviously more is better, right? I mean, that, that applies every time, so... <laughs> the party that we made at the party. Chatting at the cocktail party. Them. Oh, you're a dungeon master? Run us through a campaign right now. Me. Well, we need them pulling completed character sheets from pockets and spilling dice on the floor. <laughs> okay, the kingdom's decline has given rise to warlord ambitions. You... <laughs> and then just goes on. Hashtag D&D. There's evil, and then there's being an inattentive parent evil. Imagine being a preschool teacher in Feyran, and on the first day of school, a shadowy character manifests under dark clouds, chilling your blood as they walk up, and these are the first words they utter to you. I'm Dracula, and this is my boy. I'm four. He's four. <laughs> that is very cute. That is very wholesome and cute. That is adorable. But what flavor? There are no rules, quote-unquote, for fantasy, and that's the beautiful thing about it. Sure, there are staples of the genre, but a creator shouldn't feel bound by them. The only limits are your imagination. Fantasy game. The health potions aren't red. <laughs> yeah, you lost me. <laughs> what do you mean they're not red? What's, what color are they supposed to be? What, what are you gonna tell me next that mana potions aren't blue or... Path of the Beast is tons of fun. Me playing an unarmed only barbarian. Instead of gaining claws, my minotaur just starts punching harder. The DM, that's cool with flavoring. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. I know glaives and pikes exist, but still, spears in real life. This weapon has been used since the dawn of humanity and is still regarded as one of the best weapons for melee combat to this day. Spears in D&D, you, you can do 1d8 piercing if you hold it with both hands. <laughs> Pathetic, where are, where are the real spears at, huh? Come on. When the artificer is hiding something, a battlesmith artificer joins the party. Her steel defender is flavored to look like a pseudo dragon. She has two arcane pistols that each deal 1d10 plus 5 force damage and glasses that translate all writing. She uses an infusion to cast shatter at third level. The party is level 5. 
she asks for a short rest to recharge it after using it exactly twice. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. Artificer, you say. Okay, alright. And thus, the Forever DM is born. DM. Yeah, I had fun DMing the first campaign. Can someone else DM the next campaign though? Players. <laughs> I'm sorry, my companion. But no, we all have our own destinies and yours culminates here. I would not rob you of that. <laughs> the tragic birth of another DM. <laughs> Sometimes a transdimensional space is the best damage dealer. You're charged with uh, wrestling the big bad evil guy into a bag of holding because they were too strong to fight. Bruh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good workaround. <laughs> Me and my friends never use the DM screen. Maybe because we're weird. DMs who play without a DM screen. If he dies, he dies. It's a double axe, but low budget barbarian artificer. Um, alright, that is an interesting welding job. <laughs> to be honest, they should just call them something else at this point if they're just gonna double down on cow stuff. My report is on fur bulgs. <coughs> fur covered folk with floppy ears, flat noses, and long faces. Furbolgs are humanoid people with a unique and somewhat bovine appearance. Furbolgs aren't cows! Look, who's giving the report? You, Chowderheads, or me? Matthew, I'd like to see you a moment. <laughs> He's fine, by the way. He hurt his shoulder while playing football, but he will be okay. Our D&D group losing a member because he's in the hospital. Our friend still willing to play via Discord while in the hospital. <laughs> nice. Wait, you guys actually meet in person when you play? I mean, yeah, if, if you live in the same city and, you know, it, it makes more sense to do that, yeah. But, you know, if you don't. Wizard. No, I don't catch it. That would make me a grave robber. Party finds a necklace of fireballs. The rogue says he throws it at the wizard for them to cast identify. You can hurl multiple beads or even the whole necklace as one action. When you do so, increase the level of the fireball by one for each bead beyond the first. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Good luck. But considering that it's a wizard, they probably died, alright? Vanilla shield rules are whack. A kite shield? That's plus 2 AC. A tower shield? Yeah, that's plus 2 AC. Even a buckler? Yeah, that's plus 2 AC. A cardboard shield? Believe it or not, plus 2 AC. <laughs> Is that the standard rules in 5th edition? I haven't used shields enough to be aware of this, but if that's the case... <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious and ridiculous. This is why you need some homebrew stuff every now and then. <laughs> so, I have a plan to allow the <gasps> bard to beat the succubus. Hey, serious question. Bay? So, lube is water-based. I don't like where this is going. And logically, it can be made with holy water. Not getting any better. Thus, I can f*** a fiend to death. Right? How to f*** a succubus and win? <laughs> what it's like to be a kobold. Personality traits, pack tactics. <laughs> Ideals, advantage all the time. Bonds, <laughs> allies standing 5 feet next to my enemies. Flaws, sunlight sensitivity. <laughs> I think the main flaw is just being a cobbled, unfortunately. <laughs> Something that every Forever DM loves to see. The Forever DM commenting on the new DMs and PCs. If they weren't trying to kill us, I'd be proud. It is what it is, but you can still be proud or happy, I guess, that you're not, you don't have to be the Forever DM anymore. You have served your term, you know, your country, your comrades. <laughs> you have passed on the metaphorical torch, which I guess is the, what, the DM screen in this case? I tried to tell him, but he keeps saying that he wants a high strength and doesn't care about dexterity. I'm not trying to rob you. First time player who is a rogue with 16 strength and 9 dexterity. I am trying to help you. <laughs> well, sometimes you just learn better by making mistakes, you know. <laughs> Leave no bodies unchummed. Nobody left behind, says the paladin. No body left behind, <laughs> says the necromancer. I don't know why there's another 2010 meme, but... Also no bodies left, says the barbarian. Have you ever noticed that... 
Okay, so this is basically an alignment chart, but with beards and hair. So with long beard, with no hair we have the barbarian, medium artificer, and then long hair is the wizard. With a medium beard, we have no hair on the rogue, regular on the bard, and long hair on the ranger. And with no beard, we have no hair on the monk, regular on the paladin, and long on the sorcerer. <laughs> okay. As long as it helps you take down your sworn foe, it's kosher. The Paladin of Vengeance excuse for multiclassing into Warlock. Hey, if we're killing Nazis, I'll worship a side of bacon. <laughs> I'll do what I have to, okay? Pain. Struggle, even. Me, coming up with a homebrew monster knowing full well that I won't use it for at least one year. Crosspost from suspiciously specific, but you get it. The fewer words a magic sword's name has, the more dangerous it is. You don't wanna be on the wrong end of Dark King Grootmore's Edge of Annihilation, don't get me wrong, but you for sure don't want to be on the wrong end of something called the Trongler. I'll keep you posted for this train wreck. Me, starting a campaign with only players that I've ejected from my table over the last year. I am going to create an environment that is so toxic. <laughs> The Not Safe for Work was for body horror, not sneeties. You join a Not Safe for Work campaign. Every single creature is mutilated and described in vivid detail. Um, okay, Jesus Christ, okay. A min maxer is someone who tries to do 40 damage per turn, not trying to ole their character properly. Me, making an elf wizard with 18 intelligence. R slash DD memes. Is this min maxing? <laughs> If you think about it, D&D is controlled by a pantheon of gods where each is responsible for a different dice. Player characters, gods of the setting, the DM, and the dice gods. Okay, I mean, okay, no, yeah, that I I'll accept that, yeah. Well, I guess it's called RNG. Also, I guess this only technically applies if the DM decides to not fudge the rolls when he wants, you know, because he always has that option. <laughs> anything can happen with the dice, but the DM can just say nope and, you know, do anything that he wants, really. What do you mean? They're not rushing head on? The players finishing their min max build. The new book that the DM bought. The monsters know what they're doing. Combat tactics for dungeon masters. <laughs> nice. For the DM, not for the party. Anyway, we're gonna end the video here. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please don't forget to leave a like if you did and subscribe for more if you haven't already because it would help me out and I would really appreciate it. Also, a big thank you to everyone supporting the channel on Patreon as well as here on YouTube. I really appreciate it. So if you wanna check those out or join the channel, feel free to do so. Links below if you wanna check those out. Links to the social media, Discord server, subreddit, anything else you wanna join. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.